Okay, I wanted to record a little video just of my uh, Swiss Micros DM42 printing to uh, my HP 82240B printer. I've got some toys I've built into this, um, which I'll show you later. Um, but I've got a matrix here which I've put in already. Uh, this matrix is 7 by screen focus. I'm afraid it's not the best camera, so my apologies for that. It's a 7x2 matrix, and if I go into here and uh, edit the matrix, uh, you'll see that it contains just some data. Column 1 is the X data, column 2 is the Y data. There's just some data in there uh, from an experiment. That's actually a simple pendulum experiment where I've already done the processing of the data. So if I exit out of that, the matrix is just sat here, and if I load up my graphing program, you'll see there's some options. There's grad, which will show you the gradient of the line that the data would produce. There's uh, error in the gradient. There's the intercept. There's the error in the intercept, and it uses a pretty standard statistical method of calculating them. And if you click change, there's some options of swapping the X and Y axis around or raising either axis to a power. And that can be a half or negative one or whatever you want. Or well, you can do any sort of change, uh, which you have to program in, um, in the program that's named change, funny enough. But if I press plot, it will show on the screen a graph of the results. And I built in some uh, functions, and what I did is I put a pause so you can see what the functions were before it draw draws the graph. So when you press plot, if it says GR mod, that changes the graphics mode so you can see a higher resolution there. And if I press it again, you get the original HP 42S resolution. Press it again to get the one I prefer. The button next to that, the soft key next to that, produces uh, or shifts the axes. So right now the axes are permanently in the middle of the screen. So if you press that button, you can rescale it so that um, the smallest data point appears down on this edge somewhere and the highest data point appears on this edge somewhere. And as you can see, that's uh, scaled it quite nicely. So let me scale it back how it was. And the last thing I've made it so you can do is print out all the results. So I'll turn the printer on and press print. It's fairly slow to print. It's now sending the graph over um, by slicing up the data into slithers and sending, I think it's eight slithers. Sending. So here's the first slither coming out. So the resolution of the graph it draws is. Um, 131 pixels wide uh, by 128 pixels uh, in height. And see, it's not perfect. Still have a bit of work to do on it. So there are the seven, the seven data points here, corresponding to the seven data points that are listed in the table there. That's, uh, and there we go. So I wanted to produce this so that I could uh, take students' data during lessons. I'm a teacher, take students' data during lessons and uh, just plot it to a graph mm. and show them what I expect their graph to look like, uh, what I expect their gradient to be, their intercept, including errors. So, I mean, that's something that's taken me a little bit of a while to put together. I've still not finished it. I need to exit out of this bit here. Um, uh, but that's all possible with this rather fantastic piece of engineering, the Swiss Micros DM42. If you work in a lab or you're a physicist or an engineer, you really owe it to yourself to get one.